Ooh, what's up, beautiful people? I miss you guys. If you guys don't know me, my name's Josiah High Synth, formerly known as Mr. 200M. And this space is uh, is incredibly exciting for me. I've sort of kind of abandoned it for the last few years, really. But I feel like I'm in a space where I'm kind of like ready to kind of like discuss and kind of reflect on uh, why that happened and, you know, really what the plan is moving forward with this space. And I think I just got to be open and honest. Yeah, let's get into the video. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, now no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. Over the last few years, I, I feel like I've uh, I've had many adventures, and I think when I started YouTube, um, I had a simple mission, and my simple mission was literally to actually just um, create an audience to be able to post some documentaries online. Um, that was as simple as it was, and over time, I grew like fifty thousand subscribers, and it ended up being this impactful place where I ended up sharing my journey, where I got kicked out of university, um, where I had to raise money for my fees, uh, where I essentially became this internet guy um the internet's best friend uh, um you could say um and it it was an interesting time um i mean since then i've had amazing opportunities to explore life to explore myself to do things that i never could have imagined being rooms that i never could have imagined being into and even till today i still i'm living off the blessings of you guys and what you've put into my life and you know what you guys have allowed me to achieve interestingly uh, there was a, there was like a paradoxical reality that happened in the same time and so this was when i was 18 and the paradox of social media is that i didn't really fully understand what i was getting into and of course when you start with a simple mission of just trying to get yourself out there you don't really realize all the things that you lose in the process the privileges that you even had and so i quickly realized that in every room i was known by people i was seen everywhere i lost privacy and essentially like over time i feel like i was robbed of the ability to truly introduce myself and tell people who I am, but rather I had narratives um, across the internet, some made up, some real people involved in my life. And as much as it was a blessing, it was uh, a small lens into something that was kind of really, truly difficult for me to explore. And I kind of, uh, it grew this tension in me of understanding the gift that I was given and uh, the need to use and wield it well, but also the reality of the fact that it came with some costly things that really, really mattered to me. And of course, when I go back to when I was 18, 19, I was just simply an athlete who wanted to do sports, who wanted to make the Olympic stage, who wanted to do those things that made him happy and made him smile and just do it with my friends along the way. But over time, right, I lost um, the ability to just be invisible in some way. And I feel like over the last few years, I feel like I've really enjoyed the anonymity. In fact, this week I was exploring why I've been running away from creating and maybe being open online again. And I think I've just found language for it. And it's actually kind of what's triggered me to kind of make this video and be a bit more hopeful about the direction of this channel. And I think what I've discovered is I've been traveling a lot. I've been running away a lot, not because I have anything to hide per se, but I think it's because I've been trying to rediscover the joys of anonymity. I didn't have language for it. And it's taken me literally what it feels like years. And I don't even know how long I have stopped properly creating on this channel but sporadic things that, that that i have kind of posted here or there was me trying to captivate the essence but 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 i didn't have language so the mission couldn't have been kind of fulfilled properly uh, you know but but i feel that i'm ready to create again you know um i've had lots of conversations i've gone to therapy i've done lots of things to kind of heal from i guess the implications of the internet and so a few years ago 2020 you know, was a was just an interesting, interesting time. And I experienced one of the ugly sides of the internet where people kind of dragged me online. And it was it was a difficult time because um, when you are existing the internet, you are kind of at the arms of people. And if people find something that they don't like that you said, or they disagree with, or in fact, you've said stuff that you no longer agree with, and you try to rectify and kind of like, kind of reshare your views today that you stand against even some of the things that you may have had in the past. It can get difficult because nobody's ever truly satisfied. And so you have to learn how to like navigate that. I think 2020 was a difficult time because I once again found myself on that side of the internet, handling things the best way that I could. But I didn't realize that in that moment, uh, something deeply inside of me was really shattered. In fact, I remember saying to myself, you can't take away something from someone who would give it up. And what I mean by that is um, I realized that I didn't, I didn't want to be on the internet for clout. I don't really want to just, you know, I, I still have a weird relationship with just being in front of people's faces. Um, but if I am here and if God has gifted me the opportunity to speak to people, to reach people, to um, inspire people, then I must wield that well. And that requires time, that requires work, that requires a sense of responsibility that I needed time to explore. And I needed to just grow. I, I didn't have the opportunity to grow without eyes on me. Um, and pretty much since I've been a child, really, you know, I feel like I've had eyes on me 
um, everywhere. And so I feel like the damage that that 2020 created for me was huge. 20, like to set the scene, I remember making a tweet and it got like 2.6 million likes and uh, I think 600,000 retweets or something like that. I'd never seen the internet so busy ever in my life. Like this was like a moment in time where we were all lost and we're all trying to figure out what's going on. And I was losing friends and family in that time and people died. There was literally mass deaths happening in the world and we were all trying to figure out what's happening. And it's like, you find yourself in this moment where the whole world stands still. And one morning, your name gets kind of like dropped into this atmosphere where you end up just experiencing so much hate, so much hate. And this wasn't the first time I dealt with this, but this was a unique time and trapped in the echo chambers of your thoughts, not being able to, to, to be with friends in the way that you would have before. I lost kind of every sense of true coping to deal with this. Uh, I had the privilege of being with my boys at the time who were in my house, um, but you couldn't escape anywhere. You had to kind of sit there. And I remember hearing some of the hateful things that people said about me and having to just process the reality that nobody knows me like I do. But I think that moment really scarred me. It really, it made me fear social media in the sense of, I never want my lifeline to be attached to the mercy of people who don't have my best interest in mind. And in fact, the internet's a scary place. As much as it's a blessing, it's a place where you can rise and fall. And I, and I didn't want to just exist there um, at the mercy of people. I wanted the opportunity, like I said, to be able to introduce myself to people, for, for myself to be known, to, to be known for the vibrancy that I have, to be known for the beautiful qualities that I do have, and to, to in, in community share some of the struggles that I do have, the things that make me human. I didn't want to be robbed from the opportunity to be a human because of expectations of me. And I think when I look back, if you, if you, if you wonder why I really have stopped creating a lot, it's because um, I've truly been afraid to be on, on, uh, in, a, in a place where I don't know, it's scarring to be rejected by people, but then also it's scarring uh, to feel villainized in, in a way that you feel like is undeserved. Um, and you have to sit through that um, silently, trusting in the Lord. And so um, that was a scarring moment. I think I, I've been working through it. I feel like I've only now began to come to a true place where when I say that I'm okay, I'm not compensating, but rather I'm actually like, I'm actually okay. I'm, I'm actually fine. I, I, I stand on what I believe. I know what I believe and I'm, in a place of much deeper certainty. And it's not that I didn't know before, but I think I desire not to be one who will fake it just to try to prove a point. Now, I must make clear, right? I don't exist on social media right now to please anybody. I'm not here to convince anybody of who I am, but rather I, I, I believe that I have a platform that I wanna use, there's stories I wanna share, there's a signature that I wanna leave on this earth. Um, and I have to just stop overthinking it. Um, I have to be wise, be careful, but. But I think, you know, the reality is um, I've had some growing to do. Um, I'm 26 now, turning 27, literally in about two weeks or so. It's been nearly 10 years since I've been creating, since I've been in front of your screens, if you've known me before. And I just want to simply tell the story of where I am today. I'll hopefully continue to do the same mission that I wanted to do before, which is to simply help somebody do a little bit about what they wanted to do before, to live life, to discover their vibrancy, to be better. Uh, to to find joy, and I think um, I, I think I'm, I just want to do that now. Um, I, I'm wiser, um, I'm more assured in what I believe, uh, and I, and I stand on what I believe. And so, um, if you guys are still watching this, then then I'd love for you guys to be invested in this space and me, and let's do this journey together. So um, that's a little bit about my beginning story. I, I'm gonna share a little bit about some of the lessons I've learned in the next video. So click subscribe, and um, let's get into it, man. I'm super excited to see you guys again, to connect with you, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon.